Welcome to Currency Watch. This is Chris Keen from AkeenPointOfView.com. Most of the markets moved up aggressively against the U.S. dollar in Asian and European trading. It all started when the Australian Employment Report beat expectations and set a general risk-on environment throughout the night of trading. Then heading into North American trading, the Bank of England left interest rates unchanged and did not add to the asset repurchase program. And then surprisingly, the Chinese government lowered their interest rates by 25 basis points. This led to a general risk on environment until at 10 o'clock Eastern time, Ben, ben, uh, ben Bernanke came on and dampened the flames on expectations for QE3 in the near future for the U.S. economy. This lists a few pairs in interesting positions. The first is the Euro USD. As you can see, the Euro USD broke up higher to, in uh, European trading and tested the 126, 126, 25 resistance zone. This level is going to be hard for the pair to break through. And, um, and the pair rejected it and then moved up again in late trading after rumors and moved up uh, to test 126 again to be promptly rejected into the close. As long as the cross can remain below this 126, 126, 25 zone, we could see initial test down to 124, 125.40. And if we break that, we could go as low as 120, 124.50, 70 area. The next pair I'm keeping an eye on is the New Zealand USD. Because New Zealand USD went up and test the FIB level almost to the pip at the 38. 0.2 FIB from the May decline at 0.7753. This level rejected the pair and it moved down and is currently testing resistance around 0.7670. The pair may remain uh, range bound into Asian trading, but if we get another uh, move back up to 0.7750, I would expect sellers to enter the market once again. And the last pair of interest is the Aussie USD. Just for the fact that the Aussie USD moved up today and tested parity, it ran above parity, is the 50 FIB level at 1.0032. This creates a strong resistance zone at this point, and any move back up into this level could find the same amount of resistance as it did today. As you can see, it rejected and it was almost down 100 pips from that in New York trading. So keep your eye on for any move back up towards the resistance zone. And for the, if the pair gets down to 0.9875 and we can break below that price, we could see a move down towards 0.98 into the end of the week. So this is Chris Keen from a Keen point of view, and this is Currency Watch. Have a good day trading.